welcome to edupediaworld.com my name is vomika soni and today i will discuss about cell cycle and cell division in my previous lecture i told about chromosomes gene and dna their function and location in the cell in the current lecture i will be discussing about the different phases of cell cycle and how the cell divides hope you will enjoy this lecture all the living organisms even the largest start their life from a single cell how a single cell then goes on to form such large organisms growth and reproduction are the characteristics of the cell indeed of all the living organisms all cells reproduce by dividing into two with each parental cell giving rise to two daughter cells each time they divide these newly formed daughter cells can themselves grow and divide such cycles of growth and division allow a single cell to form a structure consisting of millions of cells the cell division is a very important process in all the living organisms during the division of a cell dna replication and cell growth also takes place all these processes have to take place in a coordinated manner the coordination is important to ensure correct division and formation of progeny cells the sequence of events by which a cell duplicates its genome synthesizes the other constituent of the cell and eventually divides into two daughter cells is termed as cell cycle main phases of cell cycle are the interphase and the m phase also known as the mitotic phase interphase which is better known as the resting phase is the duration in which cell prepares itself for division during the interphase the cell undergoes cell growth and dna replication interphase is further divided into three phases the first one is the g1 phase also known as gap 1 phase the second one is the s phase also known as the synthesis phase and the third one is the g2 phase also known as the gap 2 phase the g1 phase is the first phase of the interphase of the cell cycle it corresponds to the interval between mitosis and initiation of dna replication mitosis occur in the m phase and dna replication occurs in the s phase that is the synthesis phase this means g1 is the interval between the m phase and the s phase during the g1 phase cell is metabolically active and continuously grows but the cell does not replicates 
its DNA. This means the replication of DNA does not occur in the G1 phase. The next phase is synthesis phase. It marks the period during which DNA synthesis or replication take place. During the synthesis phase, amount of DNA per cell doubles. For example, if amount of DNA in the cell is denoted by C, then 2C is enhanced to 4C, which implies that the amount of DNA per cell is doubled. But the chromosome number remains the same. For example, if number of chromosome is denoted by N, then 2N remains same after the cell, after the S phase to 2N. Hence, the chromosome number does not change during the synthesis phase. In the S phase, the DNA replication begins in the nucleus and the centroil duplicates in the cytoplasm. The next phase is the gap 2 phase, the G2 phase. Here the proteins are synthesized in the preparation for mitosis and the cell growth continuously. There are some cells in adult animals that do not exhibit division. Many other cells divide occasionally. The cells that do not exhibit division are heart cells and brain cells and many other cells. Other cells which divide occasionally when it is actually needed to replace the cells that have been lost because of injury or cell death. These cells that do not divide further exit G1 phase to enter an inactive stage called the quiescent phase which is also known as the G0 phase of the cell cycle. Cells in this stage remain metabolically active but no longer proliferate unless they are called on to do so depending upon the requirement of the organism. So in today's lecture we have covered about the different phases of the interface that is the G1 phase the synthesis phase, the G2 phase and also the G0 phase. In my coming lecture, I will discuss about the M phase which is also known as the mitotic phase. Hope you have understood the concept in today's lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.